A new international trailer has been released for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and it finally confirms the return of Kieran Knightley's Elizabeth Swan, who is featured in the all-new footage from the trailer. Johnny Depp also returns to the big screen as the iconic anti-hero Jack Sparrow, alongside Jeffrey Rush as Captain Barbosa and Orlando Bloom as Will Turner. The movie will see Jack searching for the legendary Trident of Poseidon as Javier Bardem's Captain Salazar chases after him with his deadly ghost sailors in tow. Dead Men Tell No Tales is directed by Norwegian filmmakers Espen Sandberg and Joachim Roning and is set for release on May 26, 2017. Jeremy, buy or sell the new international trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales. I'm going to sell this one because I, I liked the last trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean mm. when they showed Jack Sparrow. I thought that was really cool, but the sequential he's showing more and more to where I'm like, do I... I don't think I need to watch it. I kind of know everything. When you saw that glimpse of Will Turner, I thought that was pushing it. Like, you probably should have saved that little like cameo or appearance for the movie. I didn't need to know that Will Turner was in it. The returning cast coming back is always a fun surprise to see in the movie, not necessarily having the trailer. And then uh, you see more Jack Sparrow, which he's an integral part of uh, the entire story. So I get why you showed Jack Sparrow. At first, I was like, is he going to be in it at all? I thought it was going to be a whole new cast. But uh, I get it. You got to show Jack Sparrow. Then you show Kieran Knightley, which is just, it's just like, hey, guys, look, the returning cast. Are you worried? Is it not tracking well? Do you feel like you need to make your money back? Don't spend a, a, a metric shit tilling dollars on your Pirates movie if that's what you're afraid of, you know? So I feel like the trailers at this point are showing way too much. I don't like that. I'm always against that, so I'm going to sell it. I, you know what? J just basing it on the trailer alone, putting aside the name of the franchise and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to very mildly buy this. I agree with you. I think the last trailer was probably the best one they mm -hmm. had done yet. I think this was a little bit of a step back, but I still think it was better than the previous stuff they had put out. And you know what? I just realized the Transformers franchise and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise are the exact same franchises to me. <laughs> I, I was surprisingly loved the first installments of both of these franchises. They've both gone to complete crap ever since, but every time a new one comes out, <laughs> deep down desperately, I want it to be good. Like, no matter how bad the new Transformers trailers look, I am desperately, like a six-year-old child, desperately want that movie to be great. I want Pirates of the Caribbean because, again, I thought it was the stupidest idea. You're basing a film movie based on a ride at Disneyland? What? That's ridiculous. And I love that first movie, and I desperately want this one to work. I'm not so sure it will, but I, I thought this trailer was okay. So just basing on that, I'm going to give it a buy. Yeah, I buy it because uh, I tend to be nicer to trailers where I don't really care about the movie or have an investment in if the movie's good or not. Like, if this was a trailer for a movie property that I dearly loved, and they revealed that this character is coming back, I would say, no, why would you show that to me? I'm so upset that you gave away this story point. But for pirates, which could use some goodwill in the marketing department as far as, hey, we have these new characters, but also don't worry, all these other characters are coming back. Clearly, Jeremy's onto something where it's like, oh, you need to show us all these characters just to just as this little thing to get us over the top. <laughs> like, oh, okay, Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley. We're going to get Barbosa back. We're going to have Captain Jack back. You need to show the audience this to be sure that they're going to show up opening weekend. So in that vein, I understand why the trailer did that. And because I don't really care about this movie, I will buy it. Having said all that, I'm still very excited about the Javier Bardem, Salazar character, and the Ghost Pirates. The Ghost Pirates, for me, John, are what sell me on Pirates of the Caribbean. What is this, the eighth movie? Uh, 45th. 45th. <laughs> now, wait, do you see clearly Jeremy is on something, or clearly Jeremy is on to something? Two very different statements. Oh. Can it be both? Yeah. Yeah, it might be. Co Schnapp, what coffee do you think? is something. What can I say? I think uh, that image of uh, Kira Knightley is a one shot, and she's actually dead, and it's a flashback sequence. Ooh, that's what? what? That's my call. Ooh, bold prediction. Um, yeah, just wow. looking at it, I'm like, it looks like. What a like, twist. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she's alive. They're just going to have, you know, the, the son, like, and then my mom, and then that's her, like, you know, looking some memory shot. She could be a ghost pirate. That would be a cheap. She's with Javier Bardem. It's so cheap. Is that just a picture of her from Sense and Sensibility? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, but you know what? I'm going to buy the trailer. Normally, I don't buy anything pirates related, but uh, I'm going to buy it <laughs> only because it's in Japanese, and I love that. I want to learn Japanese. I'm not kidding. We're sitting here talking about how cool Japanese it sounds. It sounds so <laughs> cool. That guy want to hire him. I would watch it. I would watch this movie completely in Japanese with subtitles. I would see it probably eight times. This is a real story. This is a real story. I got um, like Rosetta Stone Japanese because really? I was like, I'm going to learn Japanese for the day I meet Hideo Kojima. Two years go by. I've not used a thing once. I met Hideo Kojima at IGN. I was like. Can I take a picture with you? <laughs> I don't know Japanese. That is a thick Rosetta should've. Stone. There's a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah. That's not a that's a quarry. That is Rosetta <laughs> Quarry.